Hi everyone, welcome to another Team Flect use case scenario. Today we'll be talking about how you can use Team Flect to mentor your employees inside Microsoft Teams. We'll be showing you how you can use custom relationship types inside Microsoft Teams to create mentor and mentee relationships in your organization. We'll also be going over mentorship check-in meetings, Team Flect custom mentor mentee feedback template, and the end of mentorship surveys. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I'm inside TeamFlect as an admin right now. And if I click my people, I can create and edit custom relationship and focus people types. If I scroll down, you can see all the different focus people types available to me. This should be your first step in creating a mentorship program inside Microsoft Teams using TeamFlect. These are all the different focus people types available to me. And mentor and mentee is one that we will be using very soon. But if you want to customize these relationship types, you need to click here. Once you do that, you can see all the existing focus people types. You can edit them by clicking here and delete them by clicking here. If you want to add a new one, click add. In order to manage relationships in your organization, you need to click relationships. Once we're here, Let's create a mentor and mentee relationship together. I need to click add and pick the mentor and mentee focus people type. Then I need to pick a mentor who will be Alex and a mentee who will be Adele. Once I click save, the relationship has been created. And I can see all the details about this mentor and mentee relationship right here. You can also use TeamFlect to determine who needs to be in a mentorship program and with who. Let's search for Adele. And once we're in her profile, let's scroll down and let's look at her nine box evaluation. We can see how she has scored on the nine box grid in past performance reviews. And we can see that she has high potential, but she has failed to fulfill it just yet. So we can match her up with Alex and put her in a mentorship program. Now, let's switch to a mentor's view and let's see how they can interact with their mentees. I'm inside Alex's account. He is the mentor for this scenario. And right here, we have Alex and Adele's bi-weekly mentorship meeting. TeamFlect creates these meetings automatically and you can adjust their frequency any way you want. On the left, we have tips and resources. These are helpful resources catered specifically for your relationship tab. In this case, mentorships. Let's look at the other parts of the meeting agenda. On the right, we have talking point suggestions, once again, specific for mentorship relationships. We can edit the talking points as well. And if we click new feedback, we can select our feedback template. In this case, we are selecting mentorship program feedback for mentors. And we have all sorts of question types that are easy to measure and offer digestible feedback opportunities. We log our answers in and submit. That's how easy it is to give mentorship feedback inside TeamFlect in a meeting. Now, let's project this scenario a few weeks or months further and let me show you what we can do at the end of a mentorship. Now, at the end of a mentorship program, we have mentorship program surveys that are incredibly easy to fill out because they come in the form of adaptive cards inside Teams chat. It is right here. And we can fill these out very easily. And we have once again, different question types. And these surveys are once again, very customizable. So once we've put our answers in, we can click submit and wrap our mentorship program with a neat little bow. And that is how you can mentor employees inside TeamFlect.